The purpose of this short video is to demonstrate how a new 5520 universal hardware switch can be added into XMC using zero touch provisioning while loaded with either a VOS or XOS operating system. Regardless of the operating system assigned to the universal hardware device, the network requirements remain the same. The switch must be able to obtain an IP address via DHCP, and there needs to be a host record for XMC in the network's domain name server. When the switch is powered on, after receiving an IP address, the auto provision application known as the cloud connector, which is enabled by default on the switch, uses DNS to locate the IP address of the XMC and then automatically registers. If a reference firmware version is available, the device will automatically update. In this case, the device running the VOS operating system has registered and appears in the Discover tab of XMC. A base configuration can be created and pushed to the device via a right-click by selecting the Configure Device option. Basic switch information such as the switch name, contact, and SNMP profile information can be configured, as well as a default site for the device. VLAN configurations can be pushed from the site list, and additional VLANs can be added and pushed to the switch if necessary. The Ports tab allows administrators to configure port aliases, as well as assign VLANs to the ports. Finally, an IP address can be assigned, or the IP that the device was assigned via DHCP can be used for the device. Once configuration changes are saved, the device status within Discover tab changes to ZTP plus staged, and the configuration is pushed to the device. Upon completion, the device is removed from the Discover tab and is added into the previously configured site. Device details can be seen in XMC or via CLI. In this case, logging into the device and issuing the command show VLAN basic shows all the previously configured VLANs. Much like the VOS operating system, a universal switch using an XOS operating system registers with XMC and appears in the Discover tab where a configuration can then be pushed to the device. Although the switch can be individually configured, administrators can also rely upon the defaults configured within the site by importing all pre-configured site parameters directly to the switch. In this case, the only parameter that needs to be configured is the actual name of the device. All other parameters, including location and SNMP information, policy, access control, and analytics configurations, VLAN, port settings, as well as management settings are accomplished automatically. Once the configuration is saved, once again, the status changes to ZTP plus staged and the configuration is pushed to the device. Regardless of whether the VOS or XOS operating system is used, ZTP plus simplifies how the 5520 is configured and put into service on an enterprise network.